All right, welcome back to Diddly Spot Gaming, and today we are in SnowRunner, and I actually had a, uh, not a request, but a uh, comment from Mario Fleers, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, uh, about using the Caleb and a couple other trucks. Unfortunately, I don't have the Kenworth because that is a uh, purchase DLC, and the Zeke's 605R is lost in, uh, I believe it's in the Yukon. Uh, don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. But, uh, so I thought I'd give this truck a try. Or, I, sh I should say, I'll purchase it. Um, some of the things I noticed about it, the downsides are it's a heavy, so you only have the high saddle. Which, I mean, we might as well deploy it. Uh, your snorkel is pretty much just whatever is on the top, so I'll probably just leave that to save money because I'm broke. The spare wheel we might as well throw on. Uh, the twin mo motor heavy. Uh, and then tires? I I was I was looking at these and I'm thinking... Probably... Maybe the jack of all trades? Just because they are jack of all tires. <laughs> Uh, or we can do these ones. i really not sure which ones are. I'd have to research it to see which ones are better, but we'll, uh, we'll go with these ones just for fun. And we can even sell those, make some money back. Uh, and then suspension, we don't have active suspension yet. But, you know, we'll get it sooner or later. Uh, so we'll leave that stocked. And then I think we'll leave the special. There's the advanced special. I want to check out the, the advanced first. And then, you know what? We might as well go big or go home. So let's go with the uh, bigger engine. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the customizing I will really want to do with it. Uh, I like those ones. I Yep, let's rock those as well. And those. <laughs> We're just going to do everything at once. I th think that's probably... That works. Uh, exhaust. Uh, yeah, I like the big fatty muzzle. So we're going to go with that. And the rims. I already looked at these. I don't particularly care. <laughs> so we're just going to leave them the way it is. And then colors. You, uh, you have this weird Mr. T vibe going on here. I don't really know. can't really tell what's on top. It's like a serpent or a gold snake or... Uh, it, they look like chains, so I'm going to call this the Mr. T. Uh, and then on the bottom, the special camouflage colors are your typical. So we'll probably just leave it stock. I like, uh, I like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, actually leave it in the garage, believe it or not. Because uh, we are... We are working on a task right now, so we might as well uh, jump back in the yard, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue doing this uh, wood planks. Let me just turn it down just a bit. It's a bit too loud there, but yeah. So uh, hopefully, and, and and the main reason why I did the upgrade on the Caleb, the Caleb is that uh, I wanted to remember to use it. So I said I would purchase it. Uh, so I wanted to hold true to that, so... Well, uh... I think I'm gonna go right. I gotta remember not to go so fast. I have a tendency of uh, rolling over. We're only about a half a mile away, so this shouldn't take long at all. And uh, yeah, I've got uh, a couple comments about the uh, the scout trailer versus the off-road trailer. Uh, the off or the off-road trailer is just bigger, wider, and heavier, so it really doesn't serve a purpose to use it. So most people, and uh, I will probably do this too, and uh, I will only use this trailer if that is the case. So. Now, since we only need one wooden plank, I've decided to do this with scouts instead of, uh... 
a larger truck. I think we have a mission where we have to do two of these. Uh, so I'll probably switch up to a, a larger truck then. Maybe that's where we'll try out the Caleb. It does not come with uh, pain tires, so we do have to kind of pay attention to where we're going and stay off of the the icy hills. Now I am suffering a little bit here because I do have the chain tires on this thing, uh, but I think I think it's going to pay off in the end. It, it really just means that uh, some of the snow and mud is just going to be a little bit slower. Um, I don't even know. Ooh, I probably should have went. Probably should have went right around those rocks, but you know what? We're going to try to go up, and hopefully. Yeah, this is this is pretty solid here. Ah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> we have nothing to winch to, so we're just gonna let the vehicles uh, shift back down to first. Ah, you know what? Let's put it in low. And sooner or later, we should hit solid. This is supposed to be a road up here. And. Possibly, I think it's right there. Still can't reach the trees, that's not too big of a surprise. Come on! Actually, I think the road is on the other side of the trees? No, I'm saying it's right here, so... Ooh. Yeah, so apparently this is the road. Uh, it, it's probably the worst road I've seen in quite some time. <clears throat> it's, it's literally just snowbank after snowbank. Alright, this is a real road. So let's, uh... Ooh. Oh, you know what? When in doubt, let's go uh, through the ice, and we we should be light enough. This is there. It look at least looks like it from here. Uh, breakable ice, so we are just gonna say, screw it. We're gonna go for it. We're a light uh, scout, so we shouldn't break through it too bad. And uh, I want to make sure that I go up. Yeah, perfect. That was a pretty hard bank of snow, so. I don't even really have to worry about getting stuck. All right, let's uh, let's pick up our one load of lumber. And of course, this is pure mud, like usual. <laughs> I don't know of any lumber yard in this game that isn't pure mud. Let's see if we can slow things down a little bit and crawl through this stuff. Oh. I want that one right there. Come on. There we go. Cargo management, wood planks. Oh, look at that. We can actually... Why was I thinking wood planks were, uh... Uh, let's close this real quick. I want to see. I thought there was another one. So there's wood plank way. <laughs> Holy crap. This is going to this is going to be a heck of a mission. I swear there was a another one. I haven't really looked at these. What? I have to drop off a pro prototype. You know what? That's actually, you know, tell you the truth. Yeah, I gotta pick it up from here. Uh, that's, you know what? That's not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll probably do that later. And clearly, I have not looked at any of these, so... 
these are the missions that I was talking about uh, in my comments about how they're all over the map. <laughs> and I probably should have, like, look at all this just explore zones. I should have been doing these while I was exploring the map. So if you guys play this map and you haven't, and you don't know this already, do these tasks while you're exploring the map because uh, you have to drive all over the place here. Alright, well, you know what? We only need one. So there's no point to get two. So let's just go for it. Let's get a get a move on. And let's try try to figure out how to get out of here where we don't have to go through all this mud. And I'm thinking we hang a left. Where is this road? I think it's right up through there. Hopefully we can sneak through. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can squeeze through there. I mean, looks are deceiving, but it looks like we can squeeze through. We have the skinnier trailer. Um... Seriously, trailer. Sometimes... I hate trailers. Oh. Let's go backwards and see if we can't. Oi. Shoot. Alright, let's see if we can't. Actually, I wanna push I wanna push the trailer that way. Oh. All right, we're going to have to do it this way. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, now we probably moved it too far over. Side. All right, well, we've gotten ourselves in a pickle. Do, 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 do. One of these days, I'm going to be able to do this without getting into a pickle. Come on. Okay, we're finally through. Wow. Okay, well, that took uh, a lot more time than just driving through the mud, as usual. You think one of these days I would have learned this? They, uh, I'm pretty sure they have a... Uh, they had a script that would put trees a perfect width apart so that you could not uh, drive through very easily. Where are we going? We gotta <laughs> we gotta figure out where we're going. Oh, we gotta go way over here. Okay, so I definitely want to go to the uh, left. I almost went to the right. 
so I'm I'm glad I checked that. All right, so the uh, the night time is upon us. We have lost quite a bit of time. Uh, I think we can just hop over this. I haven't actually tried it, so I guess now is a good enough time as ever. And yeah, sure, look at that, worked beautifully. Uh, okay, so we gotta go through that little factory kind of complex there. And then we'll, we'll head out to the ice and make up some ground. I wasn't really showing all this, uh, this road on the outside. We'll come in here, we'll take a right. And it's a little icy. And we'll just head down this hill onto the ice. It's pretty solid, that's, that's a nice sign. Uh, let's not try to get too crazy. Uh, where do we have to cross? Oh, perfect. That's... This is the nice breakable ice, but we should be fine. Trailer might be a little... Yeah, the trailer sunk in a little bit. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to the road. Yeah, this is going to be a fun little battle. I probably should map this out just to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. Just because when they say there's a road, they uh, don't really mean it. And it's actually hard to follow if you're, uh, <laughs> if you're not paying attention. All right, and, I, and I, I might as well bring this up now. Uh, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you like the channel, uh, definitely subscribe then. And uh, if you hate all this, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. And uh, yeah, but uh, speaking of videos, uh, I did the last video as a half an hour episode. Uh, unfortunately, that will air the day after I recorded this one, so we are going to kind of have to wait and see. Uh, so I have no clue how it did, because uh, it hasn't done anything yet at the time of recording. So uh, we're going to see. I, I, I'm really starting to think half an hour is just too short. Um, you know, but it, it may... It may be possible to... Uh, do it if, if people prefer it. Uh, I really don't have a, a problem doing half an hour episodes. It's just some of these missions I rather, um, and that might just be a, a I, I do longer episodes based on the missions instead. Uh, maybe that's how I should have broke it up is every mission I did was a video, but some, some missions were only or would only be like 10 minutes long so um, I don't know why I went this way I think I just picked the hardest possible path apparently I, li I like to torture myself but yeah we'll, we'll see how that video does I'm, I'm really interested to see um, I also did a video with two uh, thumbnails when that first came out and I wanted to see which ones which one was more clicked on and which one got better views and stuff like that. And I never was able to find it to, to do it, so I might have to uh, look it up and see. Um, I want to be real careful through here because I have no... I have absolutely no winch points. And honestly, if I was smart, I would have used the... Uh, Carton to uh, pull this vehicle along. 
Um, this has got to be the worst path I've ever taken. Uh, it shows it as being solid ice, uh, but it's not. <laughs> it's it's actually far from it. So I'm going to I'm going to continue on the side of the river. Oh, uh, it's probably not the brightest thing to do. Well, you know what? Let's just go straight down the middle. Yeah, we should be. We're a scout. We're light. We don't have a giant vehicle that we have to uh, worry about that weighs, I don't know, 10 tons. However, however, however heavy most of these vehicles are. Again, it would have been great if they would have included that in the... Uh, oh. Uh oh. This is why I stayed close to shore. Or at least stayed close to trees. Come on, winch. Yes. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, I wish they would have added the weights and powers and horsepower and all that fun stuff. I wish they would have added that to the game. I think it would have helped out quite a bit. Uh, we are stuck on something. Come on. Man, are we ever stuck on something? Uh, it's probably one of those... Yep. And just like that, we're not stuck on something. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm literally just deadheading it straight for my waypoint marker. Uh, which may be a bad thing because this looks like it's going to be a cliff face. Oh, come on. Get up there. Oh, okay. In the trailer. Just need a little bit of help from a tree. Just a little bit of help. That's all we need. In the words of Bob Ross, He's our, he's our little friend. He's happy little trees. Pretty sure that's how he said it. Something like that. I know the trees were happy. I remember that much. <laughs> Joe Cocker was the one who was uh, always talking about, can we get a little help from our friends? Anyways. Oh, what a beautiful sight. All right, just wanted uh, to show that off. Let's see, I'm I'm surprised you can't get these. Uh, I, I want to call them jumping jacks. I don't know why. Um, I'm probably wrong about that, but definitely. Um, I, I I wish those were anchor points. You you, I mean, if I had those in the wild, I would totally use them as anchor points. And chances are I might drag them across the terrain, but hopefully they would dig in. I mean, hopefully. Um, unlike us, who are, we're just kind of floating on top of the snow right now, but... I suppose we can't complain too much because we are moving. And I think we're... I think we're on a road now? Um... Yeah, that looks like it's going to be fun to get up. I think I go towards these pines. Yeah, and see this this episode would would probably do pretty well at the half an hour mark. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get up this rock face. I mean, it is it is icy, but we do have chains this time. I think we came down this before. Um, I don't know why I'm not turning very quickly. But I'm hoping we can get up it. Uh, 
Oh yay, there is a There is a uh snow runner god. <laughs> there is definitely something to winch onto. Now there's something else to winch onto. Suppose this is Oh, we do reach that. That seems kind of strange. That seems like a far reach. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if you thought that was uh, that was a long winch there. Not much longer than what it usually allows me to do. Uh, but we're through. And uh, yeah, we ended this episode right now. We would be probably about the 27, 28 minute mark. So, uh, you know what? It's not too bad. I'd, I'd have to do a lot more thumbnails. I think I would probably just have to uh, use the same images a couple times for the episodes. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, drop this off. We got paid our, our little 32.50, um, tiny, tiny amount of money. And this is where, this is where this all becomes fun. Because uh, we are nowhere near a trailer store. Uh, and, well, I guess we're, this is the closest one. I mean, that's that's pretty far away. Although, could I go boring and go up here, up here, up here? Uh, no, that, that's probably bad. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Um, yeah, I guess, you know what? House on the mountain. I have a feeling that these are going to be scouts. Um, so let's grab the tartan. And uh, I think... Ooh, are we... We are right on top of Needy. I want to check something real quick. Let's see where exactly this has to go. Oh, uh, it's a repair mission. Okay. And we have to go... Ah, uh, we have to go come over here. It's, uh... Why does it look like there's two vehicles there? I'm zoomed in way too close. Alright, so we could take the Yar over there. Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, we'll go do this one. I think we have enough repair points. And enough fuel. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's actually back out. Let's shut this off. Get back into the yard. And we gotta go find this vehicle, and I'm guarantee you we're gonna have to haul it somewhere. Let's get turned around. We should be a lot lighter now. And uh a lot brighter now that I turned on the lights. We don't have to care about hitting the bumpers something you always want to be careful of when backing up and towing a trailer. Alright, this probably will take us about a half an hour to get over there. How much fuel do we have? I literally just have the... Alright, let's hope we can get over there with the amount of fuel we have in the tank. Like I said, we are lighter now, and we are technically heading downhill right here. Hopefully, let's not, not let's not roll over. And also, let's follow the road as much as possible.
A lot of little points. And then that should be good. As long as we have all these waypoints we can follow. Twenty-two gallons of fuel. Ugh. Why do I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up uh, not making it with enough fuel? I'm gonna have to bring another vehicle anyways. It says we just have to restore it, but I got a feeling lately anyways they've been restore and repair and uh, fall somewhere. So if that's the case, then we'll probably won't be able to haul it with this anyways. <laughs> Especially since we have a trailer. Come on, get on those rocks. Yeah, we only have eight minutes of uh, driving left, so... And then we technically only have 16 minutes of driving, because we can only use so much fuel. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a scout vehicle trail. Uh, yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I've been on this trail. Come on, get up there. Oh, look at that. How convenient. I go into first person mode and I can crawl over that rock. That in third person, I couldn't. Um, interesting. That's, uh, I suppose that's a little tip. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Don't try to climb that face. Uh, I think we're gonna do a hard left. And drive over the rocks? Yeah. Definitely get more traction on the rocks. See, this is weird. That's that's like one of those spots where the road just kind of disappears. All right, let's let's hope we can come up. Oh no 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 no! Pull us pull us down. Thank you. Thought speed was the right thing to do there. It was not. There we go. Am I cutting across? No! I don't even want to go up this way. No. Okay, tell me there's a tree over here. Flip us over. Is that actually gonna flip us over? Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Um, where's this trail? It says I gotta go down here first and then cut across. Alright, I, all I gotta say is that was some fancy winching. Alright, six gallons left. We're, we're gonna be cutting it close. Like I said, I technically have eight extra gallons. Thirty-two... No, I have ten extra gallons. What am I thinking? There's thirty-two gallons. Yeah. I mean, we won't be able to go anywhere, but at least it will be refueled. Man, this game just loves to attach you to trees that you can't really winch off. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Cut through this. Drive around all these stumps. Things that will hang up on the trailer. Come on. Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's turn off the parking brake. There we go. Because that makes a lot of sense. Alright, well apparently that uh, ice is very, very breakable. Four gallons left. <gasps> you're you're kidding me, right? <laughs> I drove to the wrong spot. Well, you know what? That's okay. We are going to use the uh, tartan to pull us the rest of the way. Because I am an idiot. I, I really hope I'm not the only person who's done this before. Why does it look like... All right, let's go ahead and shut that off there. We'll change trucks. Now, the tartan is pretty much on its last tank. But this thing is a workhorse, so we really shouldn't have any issues getting slowed down. All right, let's go. I can't believe I did that, by the way. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward to get through there. Uh, which way do I want to go? It, it looks like you want to go this way. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to have to go with this way. And then we'll cut through that way, come around that way, that way. Something like that. I'm hoping this is an ice field. Anyways, let's get moving. I should have turned off the truck. Uh, not the smartest thing I've ever done. I'm going to try to keep that engine off, just when we need it, we'll use it, but um, yeah, if it's, if it's off, then we're not wasting gas or using gas, and then technically we have an extra 10 gallons. Let's see if that helps. Although I do like how the wheels don't turn. Like, those wheels should be spinning faster than that. Um, yeah, we're just going to take out that tree. I'm going to pull this thing closer. There we go. I, w I really wish you could uh, let the winch out like you can in Expeditions. That was a nice little feature that they had. And maybe one day I'll actually try to play it. Uh, but for now, I, I prefer to play this game, so... And then there's also another game coming out that's... I think it's like Road Construction. Um, so it's basically SnowRunner, but you have... It looks like there's terrain deformation, and you can actually move it around. Um, uh -oh.
Come on, get me through this. Get me on top of the ice. Thank you. Oh, I want there. We go. Uh, I have to mark her way over there. Oh, you know what? We'll go up this way. Come on, little truck. You can do it. Not little at all. Not even close. You know what's funny? I didn't bother to look. How many spare parts do I have on this truck? 150. I have enough points. I could have just... Yeah. I don't need to haul the... <laughs> Man, I'm I'm striking out today. I don't need to haul the yar with us. This actually has enough fuel and enough repair points. But because we've hauled it this far, I might as well just keep going. I'll put it in auto because I think we're on a solid road. Yes, let's use those gears. Uh it's so relaxing now to be on a, a road that you get traction. It's not covered in mud, it's not covered in ice, not covered in snow. Even this thing going through this mud is almost not even phased by it. Okay, so we gotta go. Ah, uh, this, this was the question. Does mud make more sense or does ice? I'm gonna say... Ice. And I almost want to try this side. The telephones could help us. Telephone poles in the trees can help out. Tremendously. And, uh, well, it turns out we didn't even need the help, so I guess we just go with it. Kinda is what it is at this point. Uh, do I get a hard left? Do. Alright, let's back up a little bit. This little vehicle is a beast. That's all I gotta say. Like, this thing is insane. I love it. It's great. I would, I would be struggling a lot more if it wasn't for this vehicle. It's almost overpowered, but shut up. I want to keep it. Oh, yep, if I knew how to drive, we'd be okay. Let's just bounce off that. Perfect. Now we are in a horrible, horrible valley. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it's a road. Um, I'll try to go around that part. You know what's nice about this though? It's uh, rocky and icy solid. We're not falling through stuff. We're not driving through three feet of snow. Great. Uh, there is a road there. Why am I not following it? Um, because I don't need to. Hey, you know what would be really cool? Is if I could put that vehicle on top of this trailer and strap it down. Oh man. Alright, we can release that. Let's uh let's repair. Okay, that's taken care of. I don't have any fuel in this thing. 
I do, but I want to. I want to keep the fuel in it. Stop engine. Change trucks. We made it with three gallons. Go us. Let's uh, stop the engine there. Let's refuel. We gotta fuel the con. This roof rack. Boom. And I'm not surprised. We have to drag this all the way over to somewhere. Oh, perfect. Right back to where we came. Dotty 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 dotty. Um. Well. Now what am I going to do? Um. Yeah. We're probably going to abandon this trailer. Uh, let's let's detach the trailer. You know, it's only a scout trailer. It's fine. So a good reason for me to get uh, more people do a group thing and uh, go collect trailers. Um, this I am going to say refuel. Uh, we are going to refuel the tartan. We're going to fuel the tartan with all the fuel there. Can I steal the fuel back? Nice. I thought I could. I thought I could. Alright, well, let's uh, change trucks. And let's haul this back. It's honestly going to feel like we are uh, not hauling anything. Let's actually do a little interior shot. This is a nice looking vehicle. This would be fun to own. Uh, let's not hit the trailer. And I, I'm, I'm just going to have to leave that trailer. I wish there was a way. I wish there was a way that I could bring the trailer with us, but there isn't, so it's fine. We're just gonna haul back through all these uh, stones and rocks and bushes and stuff. It's only a half a mile. Um, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, there's a tree there. There's a tree there too. This thing just doesn't care. <laughs> I really gotta find a, um, military depot and buy one of these things. I don't know what I would do with it. Um... Oh goody, we're stuck for some reason. Oh yeah, because I tried going up the rocks instead. <laughs> Let's go around these rocks. There we go. Can we slow it down? What? I'm still not a huge fan of the low minus here. It just doesn't do enough. 
Like, am I wrong? Like, maybe, maybe EJ will know. Uh, is the low minus, like, good for anything? Like, in a real truck, it would give you so much torque. And high RPMs that you could probably get through any anything. But here, it just seems like it just cuts your power. Like, let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm just, I don't know, using it wrong for some reason. Um, oh crap, I just cleared out where I needed to go. That's okay. Right there. Um, yeah, I think we go, yeah, let's go back through this way. Put it back in automatic. This was pretty solid, so. I'm not all at, not at all worried about going back through here. we went this way? Yeah. Or we came from this way, I should say. Alright, hopefully we can get this done fairly soon. If we can get back, it's only a quarter mile. If we can get back uh, within about nine minutes, we should be able to wrap up this episode on a good note. Although, I already kind of know the train is going to get a little bit rougher. And a little bit wetter. Let's just go straight down through here. This is uh this was a nightmare, so let's try to go around that. Perfect. <laughs> not, not too bad at all. Okay, we're already down to a tenth of a mile. Let's uh, go around this. Should be uh should be home free. And as soon as I say it, we slow down. Almost to a crawl. There we go. This is this has gotta be my favorite gear. Low plus all the way. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, we can actually put the fuel back into this thing. But no, I'm gonna keep it. Unless it tells me I have to, and then I'll then I'll put it back. <clears throat> I always I always forget to do this. I always forget to take the fuel out. Uh, where am I dropping this off? In this square, hopefully. Yes. Okay, we're almost there, and we are under time for once. That's uh, that's that's pretty cool. Maybe we can, uh, boom, look at that. And we got $7,300 for that. That was, that was pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this down. I'm going to, because we have six extra minutes, let's head back to the garage. And let's take the Caleb out. Colib. Colib? I think it's Colib. Caleb, I don't know. I want to give it a person's name. Uh, let's take the Colib. Col... Colb... Globe? Globe? Is it Globe? I don't know. Let me know. Do it phonetically in the, the text. Or in the, uh, the comments. <laughs> How am I saying this place wrong? Um, I can, I can mispronounce everything all the time, so... Alright, so we've got 101 gallons. We've got a pretty decent, uh... I gotta go. Let's let's actually try to go this way. I mean, there is a, a scout trail there, but we all know how scout trails work in this game. Let's go see what this thing can do.
I mean, if you're gonna take it for a test drive, you might as well take it for a test drive, right? Am I right? <laughs> um, we are definitely going off road on this with this thing. Um, I'm tempted because those all look like small pines. Is there? There's not really a great way. I guess we can follow that face there. We can shoot for that. The good news is if we get stuck, we get stuck. We'll uh, we'll probably grab the uh, tartan and end up using that to do these uh, spelunking missions. Can't really say I see a way through there, but... I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume that... Unless this truck can climb trees. Can we just push this over? No. Alright, well, you know what? We got to use it a little bit. We got to see what it's all about. Let's uh, let's try to find a different path. I swear I hear a bird chirping. Is that me? Or is that actually in the song? Um, this is heavily wooded. And uh, now this is all icy, so... Gotta be a little careful through here. No, stay off the guardrail. Stay out of the ditch, stay off the guardrail. So many ways this could go bad. Alright, you know what? This isn't too bad. And I'm I'm assuming... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you probably can... pull trailers with this. I probably should have went and checked that first, but... You know me, I don't like to do anything the way you're supposed to do it. Alright, let's see here. Let's see how we can screw this up. I mean, that's... I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of thin through there. Um... Maybe? Let's see if we can fit through here. Oh, it's such a tight fit. Turn, turn, turn. Why is it that I can't get it to, uh... Oops. Didn't want to stall the engine. Did I not tell it to pick that point and then... Ah, I'm too far away from it. Okay. I think I can go through that tree. Oh, I wanted to go through that tree. Probably should have went that way. Now I'm kind of stuck. All right. Well, that's a that's kind of a lame way to end the end the episode, but uh, I guess that's just what we're gonna have to do. You know what? We got to take it for a test drive. That's that works for me. There we go. At least we got it unstuck. Let's see if there's a, uh, a better way up. Oops. 
hard to drive and actually look for shortcuts through here. I mean, it looks like it would be thin enough, but then it doesn't look like it's thin enough. I mean, let's just randomly pick a spot, I guess. And by random, I mean... We're gonna squeeze in here real quick. Oh, come on. Go around that tree. I think we gotta go left. No! I hate when it glitches through like that. Okay, we are getting to that point. You know what? Screw it. I don't care if we're 10 minutes over time or not. We are getting to one of these places. And uh, yeah, this thing's uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's pretty good. Come on, get in there. I don't even care if I get stuck at this point. Just get in there. Yes. Okay, now we only have four more spots to go. All right. Well, you know what? That was a good way to end the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why. Nobody's told me why yet. Still waiting for it. Um, I'll probably throw a party the day that somebody does tell me why they don't like my uh, my epi my episodes or my uh, commentary. But uh, anyways, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.